Hi, welcome to Late Night Innovation. My name is Steven Vettermann, and today I would like to talk about one of the biggest challenges of our industry. We invented computer-aided engineering and PLM. Over the years, software and products became the asset. We are driving forward the virtualization of our processes, incorporate AI and so forth. But with the coming brave new world, we could end in a disaster. Why? I will tell you right now. We are running into a situation where complexity will kill us. Do we really know which piece of software in which version is running in which component in a single product? Can we be sure that the next update over the air does not corrupt the functional safety of Mrs. Meyer's car? Can we perform verifications and validations virtually in the same way as we currently do this conventionally? But if this works, can I be sure that I send the right information to the certification bodies and only these ones? In this context, traceability is often cited as the answer. But when looking into the requirements of, for example, the new UN regulations or the German draft law for automated and connected driving, and how the bar is raised for homologation, I could think complexity eats traceability. Are we really in the situation to crash against complexity? I'm now curious how experts from leading standardization bodies and manufacturers think about this and how they are addressing this challenge. I'm glad that for this late night innovation show, we can present some very special guests. Alexander, US Managing Director of the AACS distill requirements from your members to tackle the challenges of virtual vehicle development. How does AACS address complexity related to the increasing regulatory requirements for safety and traceability? We eat complexity by acting as an efficient governance which gathers and empowers participants in a compliant manner. We hereby facilitate the adoption of industrial requirements in global OSS communities by showcasting the usage of distributed ledger technologies, zero-knowledge proofs and self-serving identity. Interesting. And you, Sven Olaf, as long-standing chair of the board of the German chapter of INCOSI, the GFSE, are we crashing? How do you propose to master complexity while driving forward virtualization? To handle the overwhelming management, let's stay calm, take the knowledge and think together to ensure traceability. We should combine the knowledge and look from all sides. The problem must be cut systematically into manageable parts, integrate them and try to find bridging interfaces and models and simulation. With the combination of engineering and standardization, traceability will win. Okay, but regarding industrial application, that's not the end of the road, or Allah? What are the cornerstones of the next actions from the perspective of the general manager of the ProSIP IVIP Association? At ProSIP IVIP, we ensure digital consistency across mechatronic domains and organizations based on standard data formats. From the requirements specification, to the realization of a digital twin. An overall system design with data-driven mindset combined with openness is key to fundamentally create more value. Taking this, Dirk, from Opel's perspective, which challenges do you see and what is helpful for you? If we do not rethink our interactions in our day-to-day -day work and make complexity manageable for the system simulation. The biggest challenge here is to build up trust and reliability into the virtual prototypes to make systemic interactions accessible with the help of traceability. So with that, traceability will eat complexity. I think that could be taken as a statement for all manufacturers and suppliers. So what I just heard reminds me to this. Yes, it's a huge puzzle, and yes, we're driving at high speed. Yes, we are not at the end of the road, and yes, there is a wall. But in industry and also in international standardization, there are initiatives running that lead to something good. 
There are some fields already put together. There are some fields where people are working on and we will discover fields where some parts are missing, like with the screws at IKEA. So we got to craft them. So what? Yes, there are risks. By neglecting these risks, we will end at the wall. But we can use and enrich what's available. Put together like the puzzle. We got to stop to fight against complexity. We got to leverage the smart ways and tools to live with it. And hey, time is up. Thanks to my today's guests. Thanks for joining Late Night Innovation Show. Stay tuned. Next time, we will give insights into realizing traceability. Have a good day and enjoy life wherever you are.